Hi, my name is Kathy Fosno and this is Cat's Creative Corner. Welcome to Tuesday's card. And yep, you guessed it, it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. So I just was unable to get to my Tuesday card yesterday. And so I uh, wanted to get one out to you this week. So here we go. On Wednesday, we're doing Tuesday's card. Today's card is this cute little note card. I uh, got the original idea from Kim Jolly and just made a few changes. Now, what you're gonna need to make this card is a piece of Whisper White cardstock cut four and a quarter by 11 inches and scored at five and a half. And then instead of doing the normal way I would normally do it as a tent, I'm doing it sideways. Okay. You're also going to need the swirly scribbles, <coughs> excuse me, squirrely scribbles thin, thinlet set. You can see there's all kinds of little dies. I've shown you one other one, I believe, doing this. And I ordered this stamp set on my um, pre order, my catalog pre order that demonstrators get to do. But I didn't order the stamp set. And guess what? Today is the first day of our new catalog, so I can show you a picture in the catalog now. And this is the stamp set that goes with this in a bundle. You can purchase it for 10% off in a bundle, and you get all these stamps plus all the little um, thinlets. Now, I didn't first like this very much. I thought, I'll never use that. That's why I just bought the um, thinlets, because I did think I would use the thinlets, but after seeing all the neat things people have made with this, I had to have it. So I'll be getting it by, probably by Friday or Saturday. And you can see with some of these things, you can make boats. You can There's a little bird. You can use the flowers, little squirrelies. It's just unlimited what you can do with this stamp set. That's on page 152 of the new catalog. Now, I'd be happy to send you a catalog. Um, if you would contact me and if you're one of my customers, if you're not one of my customers but would like to become one of my customers, I'd be happy to send you one. Uh, just contact me at the end of this YouTube video in the comments or go to my website at catscreativecorner.com and you will be able to contact me there. So, okay, we're going to get started. First thing I did, and I'm not going to cut them out for you because it takes quite a while, I cut out some of the swirly, I used this framelit, or thinlet, I keep saying framelit, but these are thinlets, and by the way, you need to use your precision plate with your thinlets, especially these. Okay, so I cut out a bunch of those, and I cut out a squirrely from the same stamp set, I mean, Thinlet set. And then from the stars framelits, I cut out a star using one, two, three, the fourth one in. Okay. And with the note I used for to write on the star, I used the endless birthday wishes. And I used the hello from that. And as you can see, it's a little yellow. Photopolymer uh, stamps do stain, so it doesn't hurt the stamp, but they do stain. So let's start by taking our Knight of Navy Classic Ink, and we're going to stamp on our star. And I'm going to use a, the piercing mat so that I can have a little cushion under my stamp because photopolymer stamps do not come with a pad underneath them like the clear stamps and the wooden stamps. So I just typed or stamped hello on that. Okay, and we'll set that to the side. And we'll set the ink aside because that's all the inking we're doing today. Okay, so I'm going to start by just putting my squigglies across. Now they may not be exactly fit. They may not fit exactly because they're a little longer than this piece of paper, but that's okay. I'm just gonna um, cut them off when we get done. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my uh, squirrelies and I'm gonna use my 
um, smell adhesive. And I'm going to stick it on. So we'll start right here on this one and the bottom. And you just stick it wherever you feel like it's the best place. Oh, the sun just went behind a cloud, didn't it? I don't know if you could see that on the video, but I sure could. Okay. I think I want to turn that the opposite way. And then I want to do, I'm going to do my square first. I'm going to put it right there over that a little bit, just at the edge. And then we'll overlap the other one. The others, I don't know what you want to call this. I call it squirrely lines. So we want to put them right against that. There we go. So then all we have to do is open it up a little bit. And trim. If you turn it backwards like this instead of trying to do it from the front, you'll have better success because you'll see exactly where to put your scissors. I'm using my Stampin' Up Snippets, Snips, and these are wonderful little scissors. I use them all the time. Okay, I think I have a little bit off the plate right there. So, so that's easy. Now I took. Although Stampin' Up! does have, in the new catalog, we do have stars. We have some metallic stars that are like sequins, but um, I don't have that yet. So I just used my border punch, my star border punch, and stamped out, and I already did that as well, out of Whisper White, I stamped out some stars. Just to put randomly, no, it's not going to be 50 stars. And I'm going to use some... I'm going to use a little bit of Tombow glue or my multi-purpose glue and I'm just going to stick a little on my grid paper and then I'm going to stick, pick up my stars or what I'm going to do is I'll stick my piercing tool in the middle of it and then pick up a flower with it. I mean a flower, a star and I'm just going to place them randomly all around. And these, this little border punch does um, several different sizes of stars, so you have a variety here. And this is probably the most time-consuming part of this whole card, picking out all these stars, the ones you want to do. I went ahead and did all my big shot items ahead of time <laughs> because of the time it would take for you to watch it. It sometimes it's a little boring to watch somebody cut out things on the big shot, but you do need the big shot and you do need the precision plate to cut most of these out. Now you don't want to use the precision plate on your framelits, just your thinlets. And Thursday, I'm going to be doing a review of our new catalog. Instead of a tip, I'm going to be showing you a little bit on the catalog. I think you'll enjoy it and see all our new things. Okay, that's probably plenty. I've got plenty in there. So, there's the card so far. Okay, now I'm just going to take my little blue squirrely, and in this time I'm going to take the Tombow and just hit it in different places. Since it's thin, you could also use your fine tip glue if you preferred. Or if you have a sticker machine, which I do not, you could even do that but I don't have a sticker machine, so this is what we're doing. Okay, and just lay that across, and 
do your star that says hello right over your little squirrel. It kind of looks like a nest. My fingers are sticky, so it's sticking to my fingers. Okay, and then I can't do a card without my rhinestones or pearls. So I'm just going to take and do one, two, three of the basic rhinestone jewels that Stampin' Up! carries. And your card is complete. I think that's adorable. It's You can put happy birthday on it instead of hello. You could do celebrate 4th of July, whatever you like to do, but I just wanted hello, make it a little note card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to this channel. And like I said earlier, you can go to my website for any more information. You can get the directions for this card and the sizes and all the uh, things I use. Plus you can order if you go to the shop online. Thank you for stopping by.